بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حضورنا الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمه In the name of Allah our dear guests like السلام عليكم and on behalf of Dr. Jamal Swedi general manager of the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research we would like to welcome you today here for the lecture today which is with Mr. Khaled Omar Ben Gigga. He is uh, from Algeria. He is a writer and lit lecturer. He has a master's degree from uh, from University, Cairo University, and he has several researches in uh, several universities, and he also uh, worked and uh, president from several institutions in Algeria, Egypt, and the United Arab Emirates, and he is a former media advisor to the Arab Writers Union and participated in many political, cultural, and media debates. Uh, Mr. Bengege has published several books in Arabic, including UAE Tolerance and For the Pillar, and uh, reading some uh, uh, books and also for the Dr. Jamal Sand Aswedi and the days of Al Bahrain and the Algerian military institution and also elected. Now I would like to welcome him here for the speech. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, the prayers on uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him at the beginning. It's my pleasure here to welcome you today and to meet you today here. And before I start in this lecture, I am pleased to uh, mention here a group of uh, remarks at the beginning for me that I understand in full confidence that the, the Emirates Center for Strategic uh, Studies and Research is one of the most uh, blessing of God in uh, several atmospheres. And this uh, blessing, some people accept, some people neglect. And actually, it's uh, very important to understand and to, to get of this on the level of how expression. And this idea has a great support. And the, uh, the place is uh, wide open for all the speakers on the background of the previous remarks. We usually meet here to discuss several points and to discuss it as long as this doesn't mean that we leave that meaning and we have the same information and also we will have also the participation and the speaker is away from that and understands how much he can and he able to do his best and I tried my best to do the best. Also, the United Arab Emirates understands and to provide this support here, especially to open the floor to export and port the information and to support to the other. This support also several hundreds of uh, atmospheres for the competition in all locations. And I think the edge of this country is about more than uh, two, 25 years, which quarter of a century has a great support in translation and knowledge. And the force, not only for me and also for the others within that the Arab situation, nowadays we can discuss the political situation in all countries and according to our today's uh, lecture, so we are going to the side by side with the thoughts and uh, activities for establishment, also for building the countries along with the, the Arabic supports and Dr. Jamal Sand Aswedi, the general manager of this center. And this is very important here to mention at the beginning and now. And I can speak with you today in frankly and to discover that what I can do here for open the floor for that we can say here uh, green lights or green lines in the Arab countries after the, green, uh, the red lines in the Arab countries especially 
especially in the research and I try to react and recall the green lines again here in the Arab countries. This is because uh, earlier we thought that to support the Arab nations is important and essential, even it's not ethical, but also it's cultural. It was limited for some uh, minority. And we don't know that this is only can be should uh, can be for the Arab countries in general. But we had to understand that these people is a are a part of us. So from Djibouti to Oman to all the Arabic areas. So so uh, we understand the situation. But now completely changed the situation. Today we are living as a part of that. And from this point of view, we have this lecture and we will have several, uh, several Arab world uh, uh, precarious uh, paths and uh, plot of or plight of faith. Also, for the bilateral relations between the Arab countries and the other locations, and also. Uh, away from uh, the situation or the control of the current situation. So we are under umbrella of questionnaires. That, that's because this represents that we are witness of the people and, and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a witness for us and also as we have accordingly, we have uh, created you as a major moderate uh, nations. So we can speak about the politics, we can speak about the policies of the countries and that's related to the current situation and it can be a part of our entrance and uh, Muhammad Masad has mentioned in his book, the way to Mecca, at, uh, as they called that uh, the spiritual situation or regime that support the rulers around the world. And also they are looking forward to have the modernizing and for and the political uh, effects or pl political establishments. And they achieve that establishments. So they think that this, they believe that, and uh, they are very frank actually, and they have very big information and very big uh, situations also and this credibility is incompleted it's it should have complete credibility in the arab countries that can be clear to the nations to evaluate to understand and also to amendment and in addition to this for any other political resolution for the nation so we can find that ourselves here and or uh, as a result of that in our countries in some countries that uh, we we don't understand for long years and we don't have a uh, decision and also we have the fires from others from the neighbors whatever so we cannot take that decision or the uh, and we can say here that the ruler is a part of the magician or messenger, the great messenger. So the current Arab situation, now we have to have good relation with the writers, with the owner of the pens, especially in the newspapers. And also we have some uh, rights in our uh, countries it is not enough to support or to to fight the starvation so actually there are plenty of points that we have to decide and we have to discuss it with the governments with the nations uh, with the people as well what are the rights what are the uh, obligations what are the uh, duties should be provided to the nations and to the people you should provide all of these requirements for the people otherwise you should take part in this area. In the same time, the people in these nations, 
sometimes don't understand or don't recognize that otherwise they are, you can say, they are sick communities or not. On this regard, we find ourselves uh, in front of a question, and basic question, an important question, that is the, the questionnaire or the investigations with the leaders or the government is enough or not? Sure, the answer is not, but we should decide how to build this situation and how to support and how to make the a national state, it's very important, and to build the person himself. Here, we can speak with the unity or the Arab unity, I can say since uh, Tanja uh, conference in the uh, western area of the Arab countries. Before that, since we have seen the Arab unity, the uh, bilateral or the tribal, that all of this one called a tr a attempts for the unity. And all the Arab countries worked very hard to find out how to build the unity, but actually they lost their way and also they missed the way. Till today, till today they are not able to find a way for the Arab unity. We are sure, actually it's a big issue. This unity is a big issue. Even it's a failure, but also it's a big issue should be uh, supported and provided. That's because the uh, national state actually after independence doesn't want to be as a uh, under occupation from another country or legal son of the occupation which is divided the Arab countries into states, many states. Finally, we reached the war of October 1973. Even we don't have this, but we try, at least we have victory and we have announced that uh, there is a unity is very important. During that time, we try to find out with the uh, uh, religion, we to find out with the other parts. And today we are, we are not enough here to support the fatal issues, but we are not taken very far from ideological situations in a way of the general understanding. And the best in this area, which is attacks against the caliph's trend, which is very far from the Islamic situation, or Islamic, that usually we have conflicts or challenges between uh, Iran or uh, Turkey or whatever. We have the situation that now we can say we refuse Khilafah or the leadership as a caliph. And finally, we, we, we leave and we refuse the nation so I think Dr. Edwan Salim has decided and mentioned this in his book finally, and he said that history of the caliphs is, uh, we can say here, the political history for this. Again, it's for the several situations. I can say here, uh, caliph, uh, to, to be a caliph or uh, uh, leadership is a part and the leading of the nation is another part. Even this part, it's a part of conflict. It's a part of challenges. I mean, in some Western Arab countries, we can see here different opinions in Algeria, in Morocco and in Tunisia. And I understand here, before the French conqueror and occupation, that we were not under Turkish concord. We asked them to support as a military, but we are not under their regime, either in the Arab countries. No, now we are against two very important situations. We don't have an issue and we don't have ideological cover. You can say it well, as you like it. You can say it's issue or not, but at least we have ideological cover. So we can say here the 
Arab uh, passes is very important and it covers to read the Arab countries as we mentioned. في هذا الواقع العربي. الواقع العربي السياسي سياسيا الان كدول ينقسم الى اربع مجموعات in our in our situation here we have four main important corners the first group in an area called which is no war no peace including Algeria Sudan Lebanon Lebanon Tunisia, Algeria, Sudan, and Lebanon. These four countries has no war, has no peace situation. These situ countries belongs to the understanding and common understanding, which is, which is no war, no peace because of the uh, revolutions and the popular attacks. And other countries, we can call it as a war countries. Syria, Syria makes the future. Iraq, S S Syria, we can see it, the future is coming in Syria. And Iraq is the son of the current situation. Yemen is a, a son of the past. Libya also suffering and Somalia has own its own uh, present. Syria, Al Iraq, Al Somal and Yemen. Sure, there is no democratic situations and we are sure that they are already passed in a way or another. For example, Tunisia. If you would like to speak with the first group, Tunisia has, has a group of the group saving relation to the group saving. And the people believed that with the result, which is the groups. And Sudan also believes the situation international path should go to the international path and we, and we will go against Sudan for another time but they have reached very far path but they have the situation that and they became again to the international so at the at the beginning from Sudan and it goes to the international path Algeria as you can see it's not a popular revolution, but it's a state revolution because plenty of establishments there in Algeria and with several situations over there. And they chosen the president, chosen and the Lib now Lebanon right now, they try to make the purification as much as they can. They try to understand that to include all together from inside and outside. These are the four groups. We have another group, which consists of 10 groups, which is uh, Djibouti, Comoros Group, Mauritania, Morocco, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Oman. All of these countries, which is the 10 plus, the first and the second first, and the third, which is different, uh, precarious passes and they don't have plight of fate so misunderstanding everywhere and we have the first impression that the first impression with us has a, which is a, the majority are the peace countries in the Arab countries are like Djibouti, Somalia and United Arab Emirates and we find ourselves here in front of the we can see two main important uh, uh, situations or parts. The first, which there are three countries, be, goes to the Threatens and Palestine, which is the biggest issue for the peace and 
for peace and war Egypt which is a largest part also if she if e Egypt failed all the countries will fail if Egypt grown up all the nation will come grown up to support of Egypt is very important to the Arab countries and all also this nation is not in good situation even it has good situation somewhere but in general we have to speak frankly we have some countries are good we have some countries are not this is our fate and the third one is uh, Jordan Jordan also it it, it might clear very close to Palestine as a land as a culture as a religion as as a ethics so we can understand we, 10 countries are in peace doesn't give good results the other situation that most of the peace countries are involved in the war and these 10 countries, you can say Mauritania, also they have a, a problem. Saudi Arabia also has a problem. UAE has a problem. Even the countries that live in, in peace and supporting the peace, they have conflicts and challenges with its neighbor, like UAE and Qatar, for example. And it's not very far from the government. It is already close to the war. We can say here that these countries, any country cannot save alone. I think it's not, it can live alone. What else? This is our state, our nation, our view right now that we have different conflicts and challenges between each other. And we can say here, no one interfere himself in the others. But actually, all of us are suffering. We are very close to each other. We are not very far from each other. Another situation here. What? In our paces, paths, we can see here that the uh, deterioration of the Islamic political situation even if they are using these politicals or not. The political situation and Islamic political situation is very weak, regardless the situation that they are. But do, do believe that in this situation, it is our issue? Really? And I can say yes, for example. And some of them can say, the book of Dr. Jamal Sanad Aswedi, which is around the Sarab. Which, is it very important? And is, it, is this the ruler can stay here for the thirsty? If some people can we stay here? And is it uh, finished completely or is it continuous to, to renewed? If we understand the situation that and this is political Islamic political situation or Trends, we, we can say here to, in Tunisia, we can understand and we can think about it and it will continue. But you speak about what? You speak about your religions and religious re, re, uh, establishments are not very good enough. Secondly, when the country can or the nation state can do and can prepare, it can be able to provide its support for its nation, for the other countries with very big support. For example, some, some are not understanding what's going on. Now we are living here somewhere here and we can understand that we are living in some other locations in the same location we are living in some other community in the same community and i can say here we don't find a specific islamic political situation can support the sharia never ever you find 
because if you find you can say the president is enough the president is enough he, he applies the islamic resolutions or islamic decisions but as long as, as long as the country very far from the, their it thinks of islam and since 1952 till today we are we we fell down in the modernization and globalization and it's not enough for us here to under and we can finally you can say they are ter terrorists or extremists i can say here it's not enough for us so in front of us here the interference to other state which 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 is a uh, uh, another opinion for others which is very close to the uh, line and it can be enough and acceptance to the other two some other people can understand and interfere itself like Iran and Turkey in spite of both of them now they work together and to either to stay or to promote for the war they are working in the both sides we will have some questions here how we can how we can do uh, because there is no ideological situations and we have very big issue actually we don't have very big issue right now for us, but we need we know we we need to know how to get rid of these problems and how we can achieve that and we can get rid of the our issues or situations. So this doesn't go only for the against the terrorism, but we have to support ourselves to face the terrorism this means that we have some difficulties in building the statements or building the establishments building the states in from inside not from outside so we have some other issues it's a really long uh, time to speak as how we can live together each other with the others in peace either accept or refuse but we have to live together to in peace in arab countries if we don't have the ability to live with the others with other nationalities with other religions with other uh, ethics with other cultures youth and cultural groups ideas so uh, we will lose in the end Shall we continue in this threatens on this fear? So Sudan as uh, against Egypt and the Saudi against Yemen and also somewhere here, wh whatever. How we can stay as geographical problems? So I think we have achievements. Some people say we don't have achievements in the, our past. We have achievements. We have to read the history. We have to read our books. Even if you wanted to make the civilization, don't build on some bad people or bad thoughts. We have to think about the good thinkers. We should understand that several opinions for one issue. We should understand the other opinions so this is our current situation here and the problem is the plight of faith i can say i can say here the precarious passes before said arab countries now said middle east now we can say gcc some now we can say in the past we said arab countries but right now we don't have this word. Now we are changed. So, upon this, we can understand that that the results 
of what happened, either negative or positive results away from the Arab passes, which is the which is con consists of understanding the co correct passes for the Arab countries. You should understand also the current situation and the future. I believe all of you understand what will happen in the future if you read the present and you can read the past. And also, we usually speak several times and some people don't speak from inside. Some people never speak what they feel, what they understand. But we should do, we should say what's inside here. This is uh, the current speech. The current speech represents uh, represent that the plight of fate. As long as we have plight of fate, so we have very big problem and we have several problems, not Arab problems, but also from our outside the Arab countries. What about the future? If we think about the future, usually, my friends, that the uh, if you speak about the uh, passes, this means that you are talking about the future. As long as you speak about the Arab countries' uh, issues, and also we never have a great support for some other opinion to uh, against the other one. What is the situation? What we can do? This is a question. What we can do to the future? And from my point of view, we have to establish for a faith or past that to unify our ideas at least to support our visit and also to support our national feeling and support to our countries. What about our national states? What about the, uh, uh, our uh, interest in our lands? We have to remove the masks that we cover our face. For We have to go back to our ideological situation. You can say a belief, you can say national support, you can say whatever you want, but you should find this uh, title. And also we should mention here, we have a group of issues and our issues should be put one issue, big issue. We should be unified issue. We should be joint issue. We should provide our efforts to, to support and our nation, our faith is the same, which is the, the future for, and in general, all of the, as long as if you don't have big issue, so we are why we lose this situation. Let's speak frankly. What about the, the Palestinian situation? Palestinian problem. It needs unification. We should unify ourselves against the to face the problems of the Arab nations problems. Also to support the Palestinian problems. From my point of view here that we will pay a lot and we should understand the situation. We should explain to each other. We should uh, talk frankly. We should be very keen and very sincere to our community, to our nation. And there is no escape to, no way to escape. You can understand no way to escape unless you have to reach at least that exit of the peace exit the peace or the safety exit is very important it will happen it will come it will be achieved according with the unity between others and if we put our minds our interests together in one table and we can discuss it together so it's time now it's time to reach uh, what uh, what about the nation the past nations Let's speak about our present. Let's speak about future. And thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Shukran lil-Istad Khalid ala hadhi. Thank you very much, Mr. Khalid, for this. Now we open the floor for Q&A. If you have any question, please stand up and introduce yourself, please. Dr. Nasser Al-Jilani, ana... I, I came here to this state 10 days ago from Rome. I work as president of the European Arab Community president. 
actually this idea here it's very important for me which is the identity that's you have mentioned here in Rome through my situation in a uh, uh, European Arab uh, community support I remember I mentioned here especially in Italy that we have reached so they don't have identity or general target for the country for a long time the uh, pr objectives moved from the uh, development to luxury to now they have the very big loan for on their shoulder ضد فكرة الاتحاد الأوروبي ثم ضد Now they are thinking against the European community European Union they are thinking about against the national state idea so they brought to the community some can't uh, come uh, come to Italy and they gives very bad words to the people and the new generation of the political people are living here in a very big situation and also uh, I can say here the person or the people over there has no target no objective no aim no future and uh, they don't have any ambition in the future this is brought a big group of the people which is some people too are not interested my question here my question here that we can go to a new age that which is no media media is very weak internet is very strong day after day and we can say here every uh, uh, now we have some islands everybody lives in his own islands how we can unify these ideas how we can build or rebuild the future regardless the issue is a Palestinian issue or uh, the Arab unification so we have to understand even the traditional me uh, media means started to lose its effect thank you thank you very much Dr. Nasser Jelani we are very happy to listen from you here today and some people can say and these people that how you can discuss such points of views and especially here nowadays here we have uh, different opinions from states from Europe, Europe and some other people say that we have several changes and several points of view this is not in the states but also in the level of the family actually I understand the situation now and this area as a geographical area sometimes I understand that that uh, it's a clear clear especially for the for the religion even Israel they understand that this area related to the holy books holy religions and the main conflict here is a religious conflict Israel said we are a religious country and also the other says religious country but how comes we are talking to the others who say don't be religious don't be you have to be uh, normal so for us how we can not discuss such issues and these issues are not achieved we can say some people here some people here says so I this, I feel the same feeling with you even this country even th this national state in this area and the other area and this is a group of people and th this family another family whatever so the they are separate they are not unified and they come back here we are the Arab countries before that we had we had already religion we were living in this are uh, in this land we accepted or refused as we can say here as Bikovic that that the uh, performance belief regardless of the religion or non-religion I can say ideology or things but if the 
national states play on the ideological situation or groups and remove these groups so we can reach we can reach we can reach to the to the point thank you another question My name is Khaila Ailabouni. Uh, Mr. Khaled, I heard from you and the very valuable uh, lecture from you and I was very uh, keen that uh, all of these topics you have spoke about, it looks like minds, very strong minds. But I noticed that you, uh, you said it in very clever way and very smart way. I find you put the United Arab Emirates in one of, one of the 10 peaceful countries. I can say here, and you are living here in this state, the United Arab Emirates here, since establishment with the principles of Arab nations and the uh, Arab unity, but not enough, never ever. And uh, Sheikh Zayed, uh, may God bless him, has a narrow vision, but he had wide vision. He understands and he believes that the Arab civilization is the Islamic civilization and the human civilization and also there is no uh, effect only because we are Arab, not only Arab, but also because of the Arab gives to the humanity a lot of things. And he, uh, he made an effort and effective that he provided uh, a lot of supports everywhere to Arab countries everywhere and contribution. The world looks to the uh, United Arab Emirates as a very small country, and I remember in the in the 1973 October War, we find these states uh, under the president of His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan has a great support a situation and decided to stop supporting exporting the oil to the biggest world in the uh, country in the world, which is the states. This situation actually was very important, had great echoes for him against in the world against him and also he never cared about uh, the small country or big country but he decided to take the decision he is not uh, has a no has no upper side he understands the importance of humanity human beings and also we should and the ue right now as you can see here continue on the same path and we can hear to his hand Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and he is gives to all people these countries and Arab country at the first secondly supporting the Arab countries and contribute and not only by money by finance but also support you all ways with the spirit when when our brother in Arab country, some other country needs support, immediately he send, regardless the situation we are UAE here, we need the international peace. And we are looking forward to have this international peace, not only for comprehensive to the Arab countries, but also for the all Arab countries and all uh, world nations. In UAE, we have a very uh, unique why you don't take UAE model or ideas or path a, a way to solve the problems that in this country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Khalil. And you have mentioned here it has no relations i'm not a, i spoke about something completely changed our difference i said in 1973 
our situation was very good. I'm not talking about comparison between the countries, but I'm talking about Arab nation who has a big passes and goes to the dark tunnel. أولوية المحلي أو الوطني على حساب القوم معتقدة قد تكون. I think it's important start now to work together not only in UAE but also for all. I decided to divide these countries, peace, war, and some areas with peace and war, and some other areas has no peace as it has no war. So I'm not talking about this uh, political situation, but I'm talking about the decision makers, how they can manage either Saudi, Kuwaiti, Egyptians, whatever. Uh, and this, is, this model will help us or not. Can we go side by side? This is different situation. Thank you. Another question, please. Good evening, Salaam Alaikum. I'm Dr. Satish Vikramadityan. I'm from the Global Union of Scientists for Peace, USA. I represent that organization. As a neuroscientist, um, it's uh, more of a suggestion. I just want to share with you, because you spoke really well about the unity that is required in all parts of the world, especially in the Arabic world. Uh, so regarding that, I have some uh, wonderful scientific researchers, uh, and I want to present it here in a later day. But just want to summarize that there is a technology uh, which is based on ancient science, and it has been uh, completely field tested in USA and in many parts. So I just wanted to bring that knowledge to you where we can create coherence and peace in society. So all of you uh, could actually uh, get this knowledge in uh, GUSP.org, Global Union of Scientists for Peace, uh, so that you know this uh, very simple technology we can use to create unity and coherence. So we can, uh, as you know, this country is prosperous and so because of its peace. And so this peace we can create by making individuals also very peaceful. And this is what uh, is Dr. John Hagelin. He has been doing this. He's a foremost quantum scientist uh, from the US. So uh, it's a thing I suggested because you did a very good uh, presentation where you spoke of unity and uh, peace towards you know, more prosperity. Thank you. Thank you for you. Uh, thank you very much. It's very important and we understand very good that and I agree with you completely here that and I repeat I never take this experience experiment as UAE only but I'm talking about UAE and some others as a group of people, group of countries, a group of communities together and, and we should have a leading role, a leadership and you should have the support everywhere. I think it's a very big part of the role of the United Arab Emirates in the Arab countries is supporting as, uh, as, as the other scientists also who are, who are living here from different countries. We can use this power to support the situation of UAE. Thank you. And thank you very much for these questions. In the end of this lecture, I would like to thank you very much, Dr. Jamal Sandaswidi, General Manager of the uh, Emirates Center of Strategic Studies and Research. And I'd like to thank you very much, Mr. Khaled uh, Omar Ben Gaga, uh, for this lecture. And thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.